welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing a small exercise for the small substation layout how we can create it this is for, for our new beginners and uh, freshers how to develop a small uh, substation layouts so i'll have some architectural model for the created that one so i'm trying to um, make like this uh, substation layouts and cable tray so how we can do that one i'll show you first of all go to insert tab rivet link then i'm i am having one small build, building over here so just open that one so this is the building for that if you go to the uh, section views uh, section box so you can see the building total buildings and i'm going to vv just uh, visibility graphics i'm just unchecking the levels from here and section box you can own it and you can see how it's look so you can drop down and this is the uh, the lv room created and i need to uh, do some cad inserts over here how to import the cad so go to insert tab and import cad so this is my this is my the building which i shown before so this is the one so i'm just uh, importing this cat to here so just importing that one substation building and just uh, imported that one so it will come up over here first we need to play some lv panels and uh, the pam mdb panels and everything so i will have some standard uh, switchboard families so you can just check it uh, how it's uh, how it's look so i'm i'm placing some uh, panels over here so this is the one panel and i'm i just no, don't want to show the clearance so if you go to the 3d view it will show like this one cubics so i don't want to show the clearance right now so you check, just check it and check and check that one so if you go here and uh, just copy this thing and all the cubics you can place it like that just place it like this whichever come up over uh, the distance you can place all the equipments like that I'm just simply placing that one as per the dimensions you can place it all the equipments um, and here also you can place the equipment and if you go to the 3d view sorry you just need to pin it this all things otherwise it will chance to move just go and see the uh, all the cubics it will come like that uh, we can arrange it this one this all the cubics closely so you can go here and I'm just uh, moving to close together this one also i need to move to close here this one also i can move move to close of this one give some space and just uh, place all the equipments like that and uh, here just select all the things just move it closer to this one we can place one more I copy it, that one place it like and if you can go to the 3d view so you can see all the uh, uh, this is simple exercise so i have simple family so that is what i just place it over here otherwise if you can uh, go to the front elevations and you can place all the things equally uh, like this cubics you can place it and go to power and i just need to place some other uh, this uh, transformers also so i'm just picking this one and I'm placing one over here and I copy that one and just uh, copy to uh, here copy you can get it from here multiple copy and this is uh, this second place over here I'm simply placing like this and once you have done that one you can see the 3d view how it looks uh, I will just select it uh, from here and just go to 3d view so you can see the that uh, transformer is uh, fixed over there and another one uh, this um, uh, the mdb panel also you can uh, you can place it over here so i'll just uh, having one families lighting so transformer switchboard so just just need to be like this family i created not created it's from coming from here so you can make your own way and just to copy this one and i'm placing here placing here and i'm placing over here then you go to 3d view you can see all the uh, equipments are placed so this is simple families uh, if you need uh, exact family you can you need to create and you can place it that one so just place it this is uh, i use it for uh, the rivet families uh, whatever it's there so that is the one i've used 
and if you need uh, some uh, electrical uh, mdbs uh, electrical smdbs you can play take it that one and you can place it where exactly required so you can place it that one you have uh, some dbs you can place like that and even some dbs also here so you can get it from here Dra drag and drop it and you can place the dbs over here so automatically the height will reflect there and uh, once you done that one we can run the cable tray also if we can go to 3d uh, so you can see all the dbs and some dbs are placed over here right see this one dbs are placed and some dbs also placed as per this and then uh, you go here and we need to run one two cable trays over here from this panel to here and uh, one one over here even the, you can if you have a ups and some other dbs udbs and other things you can use it that one uh, you can place all the cbs panels and everything you, you can create it and you can place all the things like this okay the standard one you can place over here some families you can create it as per this you can just um, duplicate this one i'm just duplicating and uh, just give name ups uh, i think this one no need you can just uh, uh, we will we can we can get the uh, families from your from beam object also you can get it that one so if you need isolators and everything so you can uh, get it from go to systems and uh, device electrical fixers and you can get the isolators also so you can fix the isolators where required so it's in the wall you can you need means you can fix uh, fix at that one so and even there also one smdb is create similar and just need to be placed like this and you can run the cable tray so for example this is a power cable tray uh, i just need to create some service type for that one type vv go to filter edit new just i need to create a service type power cable tray power ct then click ok then here in the category sections you just need to select the cable tray and cable tray fittings service type we can say like uh, power uh, power ct so i am equal to power ct power dash ct so i given like that and click ok go to add power ct then go here the lines we can say like uh, uh, we can see the color for this one uh, green and just give one patterns uh, we can show like uh, cable some cable type patterns we can give color also we can give uh, uh, green here also you can give whichever patterns you like click ok and apply ok and we need to draw the cable tray this size is uh, you can measure it the size for the cable tray it's like a 900 so go here and cable tray you can duplicate it you this is also you can duplicate the cable tray power ct click ok ok and uh, elevation we can say 3500 and service type you can type like uh, power dash ct so automatically that will come so you just need to run as per the uh, routing whatever the you uh, whatever they given so the size is not correct so go to again power cable tray and just need to be 900 just uh, draw cable tray like this so just try, uh, draw like like this the cable tray and it is coming up to here and uh, you just need to because with the twist the bending radius is not correct so that is what it is not correct fixed over there so just to make it like this we will adjust the bending radius over there uh, otherwise you can just move a little bit like this okay so the cable tray run, uh, running like that and if you go to the 3d view of this one like this you can select it go to 3d view so you can see the cable tray running over here you can give the filter for this one type vv and uh, if you are applying view templates it's easy, easy for you go here and just uh, solid fill and just give a green color click ok apply ok so you can see the cable tray running like that so simple exercise so then go to here and just uh, dropping to the panel also make one sections 
and just uh, make one section so over here go to view you can see here in the section the that cable tray is come up over here just we need to drop down that one the cable tray so go here and in the section it is going up to here right just stretch it with this one little bit near to the cable tray part we will drop in the center of this one go to section just to draw the cable tray and drop to the panel see if you want to reduce the uh, bend radius you can reduce it 300 or more whatever size you required you can uh, just bend as per the cable size you can bend it that one so if you look in the 3d view uh, it will dropping to the panel also another cable tray also here this is i think uh, uh, this one is the, the man, 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 just mentioned the size of cable tray is 450 so just go to system just give this uh, dimensions for uh, size for 50 and come like this and drop the cable tray like wherever you required so it's just this one it's coming like this and you you can drop the cable same cable tray also in this panel go to view and the size i think the elevation is not correct you can give the elevations and uh, from here to drop the cable tray so if you look in the total 3d view of this one you can see that the two cable tray is running like this right so if you have some cat files you can import like this and you can work work with the cat files like that and proper families so i think this one we can give some heights also more height uh, we can say like uh, 2200 click ok so this height also it will be come more, more than that so as per the family and us requirement you can make it all the things so another cable tray dropping this one so you can uh, run like that also so if for example another one cable tray it is coming from here uh, this panel to here so you can make it that one this one you can make like this and you can distribute all the cable tray like that and for example here and uh, then if you need uh, some branches for this one just make create similar for example you need 100 mm or uh, 200 mm cable tray for this panels you can just uh, run the cable tray like this and here you need required one uh, another branch you can run like that so if you know need to drop the cable tray or the cable tray here so you can uh, do the section uh, from here you can i think this uh, this one we can change to 450 to the radio uh, then you can select this one go here select the sections up to here go to view and then you can drop the cable tray from here draw cable tray and drop it so the bending radius is not correct that is what it is taking like this we'll just stretch it little bit create similar we'll see it's working over here so just give a 450 for this one so if you can see in the 3d view it will be dropping to the panels and the same things here also you can uh, dropping all the cable tray to here uh, just you can make go to the power and make the sections over here sorry just move with this one go here and rotate the sections 90 degree and uh, go here and drop go to view and just uh, dropping the cable tray like this you can simply drop the cable tray like that okay so if you go to the 3d view you can see this was dropping to the panel you can adjust this uh, this one where where you required to drop it so this is the simple exercise uh, from the cat file how you can um, uh, run the cable trays and how to fix the panels and everything so if you like my, my video please subscribe my channel if you have any comments just uh, if you don't want the cat file you can just uh, unpin and delete that one 
sorry uh, just in select the CAD files and just unpin that one and delete it so it will look like this it, it where, where, whichever cable tray you want to run it you can just run the all the cable tray where you required same thing like uh, from here you need one one more cable tray the another size for example 300 mm cable tray or 450 cable tray you can run it that one and you can uh, where you required you can come and drop it like this so all the cable you can uh, make, make create another uh, another filter also you can even the tag you can give the tag also i already given some uh, videos for how to give the tags for the cable trays you can edit the edit the family and you can just uh, stretch this one and add uh, another label bottom of elevations or uh, something like that you can add it see here we can add bot equal to bottom of elevation from ffl i am added just click like this and just edit that one ffl click ok just stretch this one then load into the fam load into the project all right so you can uh, you can see this this one is created over here and you can give a fine for this one and tag all the cable tray whichever you required so just give like this so the tagging part also will be done through in rivet and you can tag it like this all the cable tray you can tag it easily and this one also you can tag like that so this is a one simple exercise so those who are working in a rivet so if you like and uh, like this videos please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet i will go for next sections another tutorial thanks for watching thank you